Today is a really special day. Why is it a special day, Jess? Why is it a special day? We are going to get Matilda! Ever since moving into the new studio, I got tons and tons of comments asking where Matilda was. So I thought I'd clear the air. If you're new here, Matilda is my sweet studio buddy, the cutest fluff, and she's got the funniest personality. You may have seen her pop up in some of my videos. And for everyone wondering where she is, well, I'm on my way to pick her up right now. Life is just coming up daisies. Daisies coming up for me. Everything is looking mighty crazy. Daisy is the gal for me. You can keep your posies and your dahlias, your lily and your violet and your jasmine tree. My gal, she is no ordinary flora. They call her Margaret in France, wherever that may be. Life is just coming up daisies Daisies coming up for me Everything is looking mighty crazy That daisy is the gal for me To be quite honest, I was a little bit nervous and wasn't sure how she'd react. I didn't want to stress her out with the car ride, but I was completely shocked on how much she loved it. She even peeked out to look around and it was an adventure for her. I was so happy to see her and finally take her to the studio now that things are more calm and settled there. I made sure to make her as comfortable as possible, but I think she was just happy to be in my arms and hanging out with me. Now that she's here, everything feels complete. I gave her a bunch of time to explore and she was loving it. They say it takes cats many days to adjust to the new environment, but I'm still in disbelief on how she melted into my arms immediately upon arrival. She remembered every memory we do together and she just plopped down on the table beside me and was basking in the sun. I missed her so much and I realized how important my studio buddy is to me. After doing hours of exploring, she found her way to a shaded area and laid in complete comfort. I was pretty skeptical, but I think that she's feeling pretty comfortable and happy. I can't believe it. I missed having her around so much, and I realized that she plays a huge role in my creativity. Believe it or not, like, I didn't even realize it until right now. So, I have an idea to do this little illustration inspired by her once again, and I haven't actually finished a sketchbook inspired by Matilda yet. I've started one, so let's create the last page with some inspiration from Miss Tilda, who is now asleep. <laughs> Thank you. 
Observing her once again and catering to her made me realize what a character she is. I figured why not practice a little character design and make one all about Tilda. I had all these different ideas for shapes and sizes, so I planned it out on a separate sheet and all of the poses were inspired by her character. I always mention to take inspiration from things and people you love, from your surroundings or pretty much anything that evokes an emotion. I believe it immediately communicates in your art and not only that, but you have so much fun doing it. I think it's because we relate and have so much feelings for the subject. And in the end, those feelings communicate to the viewer. My favorite is when cats can roll themselves up into a loaf of bread, basically. So I sketched out that position and pretty much played around with different shapes, different expressions. And this helped me get a feel of what I wanted her to look like in the finished spread. After I did a little bit of thinking and planning on paper, it was time to transfer over the sketches into the watercolor journal. So, how do you feel? You feel good? Yeah? Did you miss me? Did you miss being in the studio with me? Time feels like it's been flying lately. There's always so much to think about and so much to do. Finances, editing, cooking, and simply keeping up. As I'm laying out the sketches on the final page of the sketchbook, before I paint the spot illustrations, a quick word about finances and keeping your budgets intact. Thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Truebill. I'm able to have full control over those things. Truebill is an all-in-one personal finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. The personal finance manager allows you to manage subscriptions, lower bills, monitor your credit score, and build your savings all in one place. So for someone like me who has a thousand things going on in once, Truebill actually allows me to set up budgets where I can automatically monitor the spending by category. And as things are growing rapidly, I love the fact that I can set up a smart savings account and choose the amount of money that will automatically deposit savings into a smart savings account on the platform, which you can withdraw anytime. Truebill has helped me save and manage my finances, especially with my subscriptions and purchases. If you'd like to try it out for free, head over to truebill.com slash jesscarp or click the link in the description. With that, you can spend more time creating and have all your budgeting and finances controlled all in one place. And when you're taking naps like Matilda, Truebill's got you covered. Matilda does this thing where she lays under the table and looks over at the sketchbook and is always super curious. She loves watching me paint. And I think that's the beauty about cats is that they're so curious and want to be a part of your activity. To talk a little bit more about the spot illustrations, this first one was inspired by her love for music. Okay, if you own a pet, you know that every pet has their own little thing that they do. And discovering their mannerisms is so much fun. You might find this funny, but while we were in the car driving, I played some soothing classical music. Her ears do this funny wiggle thing and she fell asleep right in my arms. And I noticed she's like that with anyone singing or any music playing. She actually gets really cuddly with music as well. Now for the process of this, I'm going around to all of these spot illustrations and placing a bass tone over them all. This way it can be cohesive as a whole. Also, it saves time because while they are drying, I can quickly lay in the tones on the rest. It's also great that I had the sketches that I did previously in front of me, and since the values were figured out, the color and painting just fell into place.
I always say with every sketch or every piece, there's a learning opportunity. An opportunity to discover something new and maybe experiment. After really looking at Matilda, I realized she has some green undertones in the fur, so I used that as some highlights and shadows. And I really love how it contrasted the warm pink tones, and I'm glad I realized that and definitely will be experimenting with some green shadows in the future. Also, I couldn't help but laugh at this expression and this little illustration was so much fun. I can't help but smile and I hope it makes you smile too. As I was painting these, I shared some sneak peeks with my patrons. My patrons had commented and suggested to make some of these into stickers. I don't know why I haven't even thought of that, but now thinking about it, I think they would be super cute as stickers. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below if that's something that you would want. Maybe one of these, maybe they should be a sticker pack. Yeah, I think that would be cool. When it comes to using watercolor, one of the reasons why I love it is it really forces me to slow down and think about my process. It's definitely less forgiving and is actually harder than it looks. I also find watercolor to give me some sort of a meditative experience. Coincidentally, while I was painting this, Matilda actually folded herself into a loaf of bread. So my reference was right in front of me. I was painting from life, of course, in great company. As far as composition goes, I left some space on the bottom to maybe make like little phrases or comments, sort of like a comic. As I was going along, funny phrases and names popped into my head, so I figured that I can include them in the end. I think a great combination of art supplies and mixing media is watercolor and colored pencil. Watercolor brings a beautiful base and transparency onto the paper, and colored pencil really ties it up and makes it pop. Here is the finished spread full of those little spot illustrations, some fun character design for today featuring Matilda. I titled the spread Tilda Time and oops forgot the little line there. I'm sure I'll be making more of these little illustrations. I truly had a blast.
we have Toon Tilda, Curious Tilda, Tilda the Loaf, Cool Cat Tilda, and Baby Tilda. Oh my gosh, so funny. Let me know how you like these. Now for the most important critic, let's see what the muse thinks of it herself. She's purring, so I think she approves. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope this made up for some Tilda time. It's official, she's just a part of me. And today, you witnessed a new character illustration born. Thank you so much for watching and supporting, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! So, what should we draw today? Hmm?